I'm going to make a short video in a few parts about how to make a receiver for uh, NRF24. So first thing you will need is um, you will need PCBs, something like this, and you will need headers like that. Okay, and of course you will need uh, pliers, and uh, you will need uh, this third arm is called, and you will need um, a soldering iron that hopefully works. Okay, and after you get uh, these things together, after you get them from Amazon, for example, uh, you will put together the headers into something like this, into a PCB, where you have two rows of headers into which you will be able to put your um, Arduino Nano. And of course, you solder it in the back like this. And this is not a great job, but this is what I had uh, left over from previous experiments. So um, you had uh, I had soldered the headers here, two rows here, and there's a one line here for probably positive and one line here for negative. And uh, the second stage of making a receiver would be to add uh, headers here that will hold your um, NRF24 module, this one. Uh, as you can see, I have changed the PCB. It was another uh, old unused uh, PCB that um, I had uh, in my stock. But it is the same. There are uh, there's a row here to hold the uh, Arduino Nano, and now I simply added uh, two uh, headers here and six headers here, and this will hold uh, this um, NRF module, which will plug in like this, like that, right? As you can see. Now, uh, just uh, a reminder, or just, um, I see I have taken this off, this edge off, with an edge uh, grinder, so that uh, the NRF module can go easily in, like this. And the next stage would be uh, making sure that you have the right connections from your um, NRF24 module uh, to your Arduino, which is uh, which will be located here. Arduino Nano. Now the way these uh, mm, connections work is the following. Here. Uh, the two pins here are ground and, uh, as you can see, ground and VCC. So the ground is the upper pin and VCC is the lower pin, right? And so uh, what I have here is um, these two pins here. They will go in here. These two, these two pins right here. See the black pins, right? And um, kind of difficult for me to record and to show, but as you can see here, uh, there is a black wire from here uh, going to right here, to this line, this will be ground, and there is a red line here going to uh, this uh, line here, to be 5 volts, right? and the rest of the connections are following. Uh, the yellow wire here, it stands for a CE connection, and it will go to pin number um, nine. Pin number nine is right here. It's the fourth from the from from the end. One, two, three, four. This will be a CE pin, the yellow pin, the yellow wire going into the fourth pin. So CE from uh, our um, NRF24 goes to pin number nine. Next is the blue wire 
the blue wire, it is CE pin. It goes to pin number 10 right here. It's next to the yellow one. Next is CSN. Um, sorry, um, after CE, the C is the yellow, then CSN is the blue, and next is the green one, this one. It is SCK wire, clock wire. It goes to pin number 13 on Arduino. Next is the white wire. Uh, it is Morsi wire. It goes to pin number 11 right here. And Miso wire, the next blue wire, the next blue wire here, it goes to pin number 12 right here. So again, uh, looking at these connections, we have um, five volts going to five volts here. Uh, this is five volts going to five volts, ground going to ground, then um, CE going to pin number nine, SCN going to pin number 10, SCK goes to pin number 13, Morsi goes to pin number 11, and MISO goes to pin number 12. So that's the next stage in making NRF24 uh, receiver will be to have your connection soldered in the proper places. After you have connected your 5 volts from Arduino to this 5 volt line and ground from Arduino, where is that? Mm, okay, I think this is ground right here from Arduino to the ground line here. Yeah, it's right here. This is ground. Don't forget, uh, just in case, to add um, a capacitor uh, to your NLF24 um, module. This is a 100 uh, microfarad capacitor as rated as 16 volt. And you, the way you add the capacitor is um, the capacitor has two sides, the negative and the positive, so the negative here with the white line, see it says negative. You of course uh, solder to the um, to the negative side. Here, um, this side here is negative. Okay, you solder the negative to negative in the NRF24 and the positive side to positive. Okay, so you have a capacitor added to NRF24. Okay, and I just added this wire, the green wire, it seems to make a reception better. The green wire around the antenna. I don't know why, but it works. So uh, you have added uh, five volts to f five volts from Arduino Nano to five volt line here. And you added uh, ground from Arduino uh, to, um, to this line here. Then it's time to try uh, your um, creation, your basically your uh, receiver uh, uh, with uh, your uh, computer. And you want to try it with a program called um, this program, NRF Listen Air. See that? NRF Listen Air. I will give a link to the program in description. And uh, what it does is it shows if you made your connections correctly or not. So I will plug my Arduino into the computer. Oops. Okay, there it is. As you can see, there's light in Arduino now. <coughs> and there's light in the module, <coughs> meaning that um, there is proper voltage <coughs> in the module. <coughs> okay. So um, you got to make sure that uh, your um, board is Arduino Nano. I am using um, cheap Chinese version, so I'm using uh, AT 
328 old bootloader notice there are different kinds sometimes you may want to use this one for the newer versions but for the older ones i use this one the old bootloader and mine is connected port number 13. now oh, if you are not sure about your port you may need to go to the bottom here a look at uh, device manager uh, here it says here device manager let me see okay device manager and you look at your ports right here and as you can see my usb serial device um, is connected to uh, port 13. okay so after i know my port i know my bootloader what i do is i simply click connect i mean i click the um, upload here and it is uploading as you can see okay an error so i need to do it again let's try it again down uploading okay and now we go to a serial monitor and uh, very important here is to get some numbers as you can see in the okay here i'm going to make it larger uh, as you can see in my serial monitor for the uh, on this line here i have um, this rx i have uh, seven something seven right and for tx I also have some numbers here like uh, 7e 7e blah 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 now if these numbers were zero here and here that means that my uh, connection is wrong so you do not proceed further if you get zeros here you need to make sure that you did uh, the right connections like i told you that for example sck in your uh nrf 24 needs to be connected to port 13 etc etc but if you get numbers here like this that means your connections are fine you did a good job and this line here basically shows you that uh, uh what uh, channels are free so this is like for example channel 00 zero, 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 01 zero, 02 zero, 03 etc and as you can see, there's a lot of uh, transmission going on on these channels, right? But as we get further on, like somewhere at around like six uh, zero, right? There is nothing going on. And this is like the channel that we can use for our uh, transmissions and re 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 reception for our uh, NRF 24. Again, channels like, for example, this is six okay six eight six nine six a six b six c they are all free as you can see here but these channels right here they are all uh there's something going on for example maybe a wi-fi from my uh wi-fi from my wi-fi mod uh, router right okay next step is adding uh pins for your servo motor like this this is your servo motor right so the servo motor has as you can see female pins and uh, the one on the left the dark brown is ground in the middle is red it's five volts and uh, the last one to the right is orange it's signal okay so uh, what we need to do is we need to add these male pins here as you can see here soldered male pins i'm going to focus now you can see the male pins were added right and on the other side it looks like this um, so uh, right here um, this extreme is the ground as you can see here these are all uh, connected. Next, uh, the middle row, it is the red wire. See this red wire? It is going to the red uh, line here. And uh, 
Next are two pins, uh, which are connected to signal, the yellow pins. Okay, now you can see it better. So uh, this one, um, the one on the right, the yellow pin, goes to uh, D5 on Arduino. And this one, next yellow pin, this one, it goes to A5 on Arduino. Why so? Because uh, as you can see in the RX program here, <coughs> let's see where's my mouse, right here. Uh, this is the RX program. So we say that uh, the zero one one will be connected to five, num pin number five, which is D5 on Arduino. And serial number two will be connected to A5, which is um, A5 on Arduino. And the motor will be connected to uh, D3. And that is what uh, we will do next. So the next step is adding the motor. Uh, as you can see in this um, sketch for RX, the motor is located at D3. And... Um, this is the motor. Two wires from the motor go into MOSFET module. Uh, they are connected to um, positive and negative here. Now these three wires from MOSFET, we have positive and negative and the signal, the yellow is the signal. So black is the ground, uh, red is the positive and yellow is the signal, okay? So here they, uh, <clears throat> As you can see, the black wire from MOSFET goes into negative line. The red line, uh, the red wire goes into the red line here. And the yellow, which is the signal, goes to D3 in Arduino, which is located right here at the bottom. So this is how the motor uh, is connected, right after service. After battery, I'm um, sorry, after the motor has been um, connected, you want to uh, connect the battery. Now, in my case, uh, what I want to do is I want to have Arduino, uh, right here, Arduino getting um, input of uh, five, uh, five voltage, uh, five V, five volts um, from my battery. So what I did is I bought uh, this, um, Converter, it uh, converts from 8 volts to 5 volts, as you can see, or from 8 to 85 volts to 5 volts. And uh, so one part of it, uh, right here, this uh, cord goes into Arduino, which gives it 5 volts as from a computer. Right? And this is the input uh, side. Now, on the input side, I have... Um, Two wires, uh, I mean, two, mm, sorry. So this is the um, battery, and the battery is uh, connected here. See, the battery has a female side, female socket, so it is uh, connected to, let me try to do it now, uh, like this. So now the battery, as you can see, is connected to uh, this wire here. Yeah. I uh, put in a switch there. And uh, also, um, so this is turned off now. Also part of um, uh, the input goes into the MOSFET here. So again, uh, the input from the battery, input from the battery goes through the switch and the output goes first uh, to, uh, to Arduino Nano, and also part of it goes to uh, the MOSFET, right? So these two wires go into MOSFET, and these two wires go to uh, from MOSFET to, to the motor, right here. So this is how you want to connect your, um, or just one way, say, uh, one way to connect your battery to your Arduino, to your MOSFET and uh, to the motor. 
again about connections i want to make it clear connections to the battery here's the battery from the battery there is a wire right this is the positive wire negative wire the positive wire goes into the switch the switch uh, goes here uh, so there are uh, two wires one uh, goes into the converter and one goes uh, to uh, to MOSFET again from here two wires uh, one goes to converter one goes to MOSFET this is the wire going to MOSFET and uh, also there is a black wire right uh, the ground wire so uh, Okay, so uh, here is a ground wire going to converter. Here's a ground wire uh, going to uh, MOSFET. And from uh, this converter, uh, a wire, an output goes into the Arduino Nano. So after you have connected your battery, I hope I made it clear how not sure if you have questions write to me after you have converted the bat after you have connected the battery what you need to do is you need to um download this program the code uh link to it will be given below it's called rx march 24. and then after you have uh downloaded the program to your uh, arduino then what I do is simple, um, okay, I will turn on the transmitter. Let me try to do it now, like this. Okay, so I hope you can see that there is a light inside the transmitter. How to make a transmitter, I explained in the previous video. Check um, the links below also. That's the transmitter. Right. And now I can uh, turn on the switch. So there's the switch. And let's see what happens. See, I uh, use the stick. I, I bring it down to zero. Now I will bring it up and you will see the motor is starting to rotate this is a dc motor right i could have used the pwm motor so i right this is at stop now and then i use uh i see this is um the <clears throat> MOSFET lights up when the dc motor is working when it's off um when the the handle is down the um, MOSFET has no light. Anyway, uh, so let it rotate for a while, but I want to use this switch now to show you that uh, the, server is working as well. So that is basically how you make such a receiver NRF24 receiver uh, to work together with the transmitter. I think uh, I will stop the video now because I have made it clear. Finally, you may want to choose uh, to put your um, receiver NRF24 and um, all the equipment like batteries, MOSFET, and step down converter into waterproof boxes like this and uh, seal the holes that you had to make with a uh, hot glue. Put a cap on top of this box so all this like waterproof here, as you can see, there's um some uh, tape on the inner side and the uh, hot glue here. I think you, now you can see the hot glue. And the same thing is done all, all through 
still the holes where I had to make. And uh, finally, there is a button here, like a waterproof, that I bought for my boat, sailboat. So I didn't use it, so now there's a hole here too. This is going while going to the motor. So it's like two boxes. Uh, I had uh, I wanted to choose uh, two boxes instead of one because I wanted the receiver to be as far as possible from the currents are going through MOSFET and battery and um, step down converter, so it's like a better reception. So it's like I have two boxes. And finally, so if I turn on the button here. As you can see, there is a light inside um, the Arduino Nano and light inside of uh, the um, NRF24. And uh, for example, I uh, already started. I just turned on accidentally. As you can see, the motor is moving. Right. And if I um, uh, may, um, I will use the other joystick to move the the servo motor. Finally, I may want to turn this all off right here. This button. And there is no more light. And basically, the system is off. So that is how you can make a receiver and a transmitter. Transmitter I showed in the previous video. Thank you. Good luck.